What's happening hooligans? Moto Mike 805 here and today we're going to do an unboxing of my new helmet. Uh, if you actually did I mention it in a video? Yeah I think I did. My last video I mentioned that they sent uh, I ordered a, uh, a ride from Cycle Gear and they sent the wrong one and I didn't like the feel anyway so returned it and now we ordered a new one. But before we get going make sure you hit that like button. That's the most important thing. Hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. Uh, also subscribe and uh, comment and share. All right, get going right after this. This is the helmet uh, we ordered from Cycle Gear. It is a uh, Shoei X14 Marquez Black Concept 2. And uh, probably a little better to wear on the uh, Repsol. Uh, the other helmet I ordered was a uh, Benali's, Benali, Benali's, however you pronounce his name. And he actually rides a Yamaha, so Marquez rides a Honda. And uh, I think he's part of the Rep Repsol, Honda Repsol team. Do I have that right? I'm not really up on my racing. I just know that uh, whenever I look up Repsol, there's always pictures of Marquez. All right, nice big box. Doesn't look like it got damaged in shipping. We had another box arrive today that looked like it got ran over by the UPS truck. Right, so comes with a Evo pin lock for Shoei, so that's nice. And is this, looks like it, maybe it's a chromatic one. It looks dark, so I'm not sure if that's just in the picture, if it's actually one that's gonna be tinted or if it tints with the sun. I will let you know in another video when I wear it. Ooh, pretty. I can already tell I like the way it looks. So down in the bottom of the bag, it looks like there's a couple pieces here. I think this, I don't know if it's some type of cleaner or maybe something for the pen lock. It's like a little bottle of fluid. Like some of the chin pieces or I don't know the proper names for all this stuff. Ooh, even comes with some stickers. Couple uh, showy stickers. And some kind of fluid, and I don't have my glasses on, so I have no idea what that says. And an owner's manual. It looks like it's about as thick as the one for my Xbox. That's a pretty thick uh, manual. All right, so let's unveil the new helmet. And hopefully it fits. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that is nice looking. I don't know if you'll be able to tell from the video that that color really pops. Number 93. So I'm going to try this on and hopefully it fits as well as the one I tried on in the store, which wasn't this helmet, it was another showy with the same shape. snug but I think it feels perfect I think this fits even better than my bell yeah that uh, that feels really nice I think I'm gonna ride this for a few days uh, before I put the camera on it 
make sure it fits well and feels good. But right now it feels extremely comfortable. It is nice and firm like it should be, uh, but it's not where it's gonna wear a hole in my skin. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, next video, uh, I will let you know how it felt and uh, try to give a little review. I'm not the best at giving reviews, but we'll go ahead and try to do that. So my new helmet. Nice helmet. I really like this one. I've never spent this much money on a helmet. Oh, and if, you, if I didn't tell you, uh, this helmet was, re if you remember previous videos where you see me face to face like a mail call, uh, my beard is much shorter now. And that's a result of this helmet because my wife said if I trimmed a lot of length off the beard, she would let me buy any helmet I wanted. Uh, so I did that, shaved the beard. She probably could have got me to do it. Uh, when we went to go get the new Repsol uh, a, a few weeks ago. <laughs> but hey, I got a new bike, got a new helmet. Uh, all right, so that's all for today. Remember, ride like everyone's a hired assassin trying to kill you. Stay safe out there, you